Welcome back to Be Great with Nate. I have an amazing podcast because in this podcast, it's a problem that I'm seeing so much today. And that problem is being a perfectionist. How many of you are perfectionists? Are you waiting for the perfect day to start the business or the perfect week to start your diet or the perfect time to start your workout program? I'm telling you right now, I see this over and over again. And there's a lot of root causes to being a perfectionist. So I have a question today. It says, can you explain the whole process of turning ideas into action, especially for a perfectionist? Yes, I can. What happens with a perfectionist is that you have this gram scheme of an idea that you believe that when everything is perfect and aligned, that's when you pop in and that's when you make magic happen. And that's when everything happens. And I have news for you. That is not true. That is not true. I struggled with perfection, being a perfectionist for about three to four years of my life. And it literally, literally was the slowest, hardest years of my life. In 2018 and 19, I had this idea to go on podcast or go on YouTube, go on TikTok when it came out and share my story and share my coaching. But I wait, I I needed to wait for the perfect time. I needed the perfect camera. So I got the camera. I needed the perfect phone. So I got the phone. I needed the perfect microphone set up. Then I got the microphone set up, didn't take action. Then I was like, you know what? I, I, I need the perfect background. And I got the background, still didn't take action. I was like, oh, I know why, I know why. I need the perfect script for my videos. I need the perfect plan for my business. I need the perfect uniform. And while I was making all this perfectionism ideas of mine, I was spending a lot of money and being in La La Land. Paul Jung would call this the wizard archetype, or Robert Moore would call this the wizard archetype. The wizard archetype is someone who becomes so good at doing the research on what you need to do and what you need to learn, but never take an action. You have to step into the warrior archetype, which is someone who takes action. But I'll tell you why most people don't do it, and it's usually because of subconscious stress. I'll tell you what which one was mine and what I find in a lot of my clients. It's called the fear of criticism what people think of you. If the video isn't perfect enough, what would X, Y, and Z say? If the audio isn't perfect, how would it look to other people? Or how do you compare yourself to other people like that? If the if the background isn't pretty and, and bloomerous, then maybe you're not good enough. That's all BS. And this is, I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to you because this is what I had to say to myself. I had a fear of criticism of what my father would say when he saw my videos. I have fe- a fear of criticism of what my aunt and my cousins would say at our next dinner or family reunion about me exposing the story of my life. That's what made me a perfectionist. So when I got behind the camera, I was worried about saying everything to be perfect. What would my professor say if I messed up on a word in a video, right? What would my professor say if I described something about the nervous system the wrong way? She's gonna yell at me, she's gonna be disappointed. People are gonna say I was wrong about the comments. People are gonna think I'm not smart enough. All of that plays a part of waiting for the perfect time. Wait until I'm lean to take pictures. Wait until I lose this weight so I can put myself out there and coach people. I don't wanna coach people, Nate, because I'm not lean. I, I, I don't feel like I'm authentic. The way you take an idea and you take into action, you take that idea and you break it down to micro ideas. So for an example, if you want, if I want to start making videos, what I did is instead of trying to make a video and trying to perfect a video, the thumbnail, uh, a description, the tags, all of that, the number one step for me to do, I had to make 10 videos before I did anything else. I don't care about being, because I, 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 I learned everything about making all the other steps. And that's the problem. I, I got paralysis by analysis. Too much information shut me down. When you're a perfectionist, it's important that you just take one thing first, one idea of the big idea, and give me 10 of those. Do it 10 times. Get into the step, step into action. Take the action first. And then after you take the action, then my friend, we can look into the next step. So if you're trying to take action, what you're doing is you're, you're overwhelming yourself. A perfectionist overwhelms themselves. You overwhelm yourself. To be a perfectionist, you're looking for everything that can be wrong. And if you're looking for everything to be wrong, then you're always going to be trying to correct something before you put it out there into the world or until you show the world. So by the time you get out there, nobody can judge you. One thing I learned about criticism, I was driving one day and I felt this deep pain in my belly. It was like a a knot and I felt sad every day and I felt unfulfilled. People say, you should be happy at 24, Nate. You're making money, you got a car, 
you have you, you you're a CEO of a business you should be happy and I just wasn't happy because it was like my soul was disappointed in me my my soul was dying that's what it felt like and I wanted to know why and I figured it out I let criticism fear of criticism make me a perfectionist then creating me to have procrastination because procrastination and perfectionism I find them like cousins they're related they don't seem that obvious that they're related but these two are related perfectionist never takes action and lack of action creates confidence issues and self-doubt within turns into procrastinating i figured these two cousins out then i said the only way i can over i it's either i overcome what people think of me and just be me and have to deal with them and 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 feel myself internally or i let them allow them their criticism criticism to stop me from living my true self and being my true self and letting the inside of me die out while the outside looks great and i said no i'd rather the inside of me live great and the outside of me not go so great criticize me go ahead judge me because the more you start to really look on the journey of other people who came before you the more you notice that you can find each great human being was always criticized you can even find people really try to teach the world on why this one person was no good for the world let's make an example go to youtube i mean go to youtube or go to google and put why jesus was the worst human being to ever walk on earth you'll really find people try to share with you why jesus was a bad person now let's flip the coin go why jesus was the greatest person worked or uh, walked the earth you'll find great information let's do that with everybody let's do why michael jackson was one of the greatest artists and let's go why michael jackson was one of the worst artists and we can continue to go 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 and continue to find people who had huge influence on us that was judged to be or criticized because it comes with the game and being a perfectionist is looking how you do anything is how you do everything you're not truly loving yourself on who you are and where you are today and accepting which then you may be working with the consciousness of fear that then turns into shame and guilt you're not perfect i'm not perfect it's okay take action now you don't want it to be perfect you want to learn you want to fail and learn from why you failed and then as you go on as you continue to build you inspire because people will say to you i remember when you did when you started and you were here and now you're here Th that's what's always going to happen i was in new york city for the first time in my old neighborhood in washington heights somebody stopped me said yo I used to watch you on YouTube. And I said, oh, nice. At that time, I was only getting 100 to 300 views on the YouTube video. And he said, I used to watch you on YouTube. And he goes, yo, I watch you. I watch all your TikTok videos now. Yo, I'm, yo, you inspire me. I remember when you came from nothing. And that's a great example of me being reminded that's the importance of showing, that's the importance of not being perfect. Because if you're a perfectionist, then who's, who's interested in you? Who, and then who's interested in you? And then study the people who are interested in you. These are people that you may not want to be around. Just keep it in room. For an example, you'll meet a lot of celebrities that, and I work with a lot of them, that aim to be perfect. And when they aim to be perfect, their ticket sales go down, their uh, or their downloads go down, everything decreases. You want to know why? Because I teach them, you come off so perfect, there's no relatability. And since people can't relate to you, you're not inspiring. Perfection is it, perf being a perfectionist is a cousin of procrastination. You don't need to look great. You don't need to sit, sound great. You don't need to sing great. You don't need to be great. You can't be great. You gotta start first. Go take action. Focus on that first and break it down. Instead of saying, I'm gonna build a business. Okay, I need a website, an email list. I need social media. I need a logo. Whoa, slow down. Whoa, what you doing? It takes a couple months to years to build up and work on. Whoa, first thing you need to do, is provide the service you can build the best website logo email list but if there's no service or there's no way people know who you are then you just have all this pretty things sitting on a computer take the action on trying to get yourself in front of people first put the information out there show yourself oh i don't want to show myself because i may have a little weight so what what happens when say if you get five people in the next five months that are interested in you and your hair is not the best your weight is not your goals and you're camera shy okay let's just say that's the scenario now let's imagine what happens when you're 20 pounds less and you're a little more comfortable behind the camera because you kept on you took action and now you're getting better and now you have the website and the logo what happens then if you got five people at quote unquote your worst then how many you're gonna get on your best 
Think about that. It only gets better. And there's nothing today. I've been doing videos since 2015. There's so much things I'm still not great at. I've been doing podcasts for three years. There's so many things I'm not great at. I suck in a lot of areas. But you know what? I have over 100 episodes out. I took action. I took action. I want you to take action. So, best way to overcome being a perfectionist, accept who you are and be okay with you. Are. Love yourself and stop being hard on yourself. Be nicer to yourself and don't overwhelm yourself with just starting this whole big idea. Start small. Take the big idea and break it down. And when you break it down, then go step by step. And as soon as you do that, you're going to notice that you're going to be in the rhythm of taking action. And then the more action you take, the more confidence you build. The more confidence you build, the more that you accept, you continue to accept who you are, what you are, and you can do anything off the rip, off the fly. And that's my best step for you to take to overcome being a perfectionist. Now, do you know anybody else who's a perfectionist? If you do, share this podcast with them. Say, yo, listen to this. It's only 15 minutes of your time. Let's take action. Today, we start the podcast. Today, we start the business. Share with a friend that needs to hear this. If you've been liking my podcast and you haven't had time to leave a review, that would really, really help this podcast. I try my best to put out content to help you. And uh, if you want anything, if you can do anything to help me in return, that would be amazing. Chicago, July 14th and 15th, I am coming. The, dis- the registration should be in the description. I look forward to meeting all the people in Chicago. If you're not on my tribe, if you wanna stay up to date with all my news, the book, the events that I do, the videos, or more information, valuable information I put out and I try to help you, you can join my tribe. There's a link down below for you as well. Other than that, I'll see you in the next podcast episode. Peace.